Hey, Laura, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Glad Thank you're here. You. Tell, me, tell me about your story of your journey to Hardin-Simmons. Um, well, I've grown up in Abilene, and so Hardin-Simmons has always been um, a part of my life. Um, I remember the cowboy band in the parades in downtown Abilene as a really small girl, and then um, I came to an academic camp called Threshold here at Hardin-Simmons when I was in elementary school. So um, I've known about the campus, and um, so throughout that, my life as a young girl kind of led me to Hardin-Simmons. What got you interested in nursing and healthcare? Um, well, I started out as a teacher. From a very young age, I either had like a doctor kit, Fisher Price doctor kit on my on my arm, and a baby doll in the other, um, or a, or a weenie dog dressed up like a baby <laughs> doll. So those two things have always been. Um, two of my loves. And my dad's a doctor, my grandfather was a doctor, and so just medicine in general. I started out with a bachelor's in education just because I love children so much. Um, and then after I finished that and taught for a little while, I decided I wanted to be a nurse too. Just mm -hmm. that itch for biology and um, human creation and, and all that. So I went back and got my bachelor's in nursing. Um, and then my master's in nursing education. So it was the perfect marriage of both. Just really enjoy both of those So things. teaching and nursing. Teaching you, and you nursing. You get to do both of them. I do. Uh, what do you love about Patty Hanks' uh, Shelton School of Nursing students? I like students just in general. Um, I really especially like the Patty Hanks students because they are um, from all walks of life. Mm. They're not the typical um, college age always students. A lot of them it's um, they're older, they have families, they have other jobs, they have other responsibilities, and so um, that just brings such rich culture and diversity to, um, to that program. Um, just really enjoy walking alongside them and getting them to that end goal of being not just a safe nurse, you know, not just a competent nurse, um, but a caring nurse. And I know we've both been on the receiving end of, of that care. Um, and it just makes a huge difference, so. Okay, so coming through COVID, nurses are on the front line. Yeah. A lot of them are exhausted. Some of them are traveling. Yeah. Some of them are moving around, going from place to place, filling holes. Um, if you were to give us the, the temperature or the read of the nursing profession, um, tired, exhausted, excited, rejuvenated, we're, what would you say right now? Today? I think it's um, on the up and up. Uh, I think tired and exhausted are good ways to describe it. Um, and we see that in nursing education as well. Uh, there's a shortage everywhere mm -hmm. and it's just hard. I think it's important for nurses and educators in any department to um, understand self-care. There's one thing you could do every day for the rest of your life and enjoy it, what would that one thing be? It would be being in nature. Um, we love traveling to Colorado. There's a place we love to go. Where and do you go? We go to South Fork. Okay. Um, there's a stream there um, that we are, we have friends that have a cabin and so we go and sit by the stream and we'll go fishing and hiking and snow skiing in the winter and um, I could be outdoors every day. Your husband, yes. Coach Wade. Yes. Great guy. Thank you. Um, you want to tell us any stories about him that might embarrass him? Oh, or, no, or, or, I'm, I'm smarter than that. <laughs> or would you tell me what a suicide is when he gets his drinks? <laughs> I, I hear he likes to mix a lot of stuff together. He doesn't mix, but he does have, he loves Dr. Pepper and he's very particular about which, like even when we go to Stripes, which Dr. Pepper, even if they have two spouts, like the one on the left is better than the one on the right. Okay. So he's very particular that Good. way. He well, does that, love his Dr. Pepper. But that's why you married him, of course, because he's course, particular. That's, yeah, that's the main reason. Um, any, you talked about vacations and, and stream. When you go on vacation, you talked about hiking. Um, what is it about God and nature that rejuvenates you? It's peaceful. It brings me peace. It's simple. Um, it's natural. It's, it's simple, but it's also just fascinating to me how things work. Even, I know this is gonna sound so cheesy, but even when I'm pulling weeds in, in the yard, I can relate that back to creation mm. and um, how God sifts weeds from us. And mm. um, so I just, I feel like I can always make that connection. I don't know if that's the Holy Spirit or, or what, but um, 
I think it's that peace and that simplicity and knowing that you don't need all that extra stuff. Mm -hmm. So Sounds like God speaks through nature to you. I think so. Yeah, I think He does yeah. to all of us. Well, thank you for coming in. I thank appreciate you. you sharing your story. Thank you very much.